Hubs and docks allow you to add more types of connections to your main computer if it lacks them itself, particularly with laptops that might just have a few ports on the side. And if you fall into that bracket, then this could come in very useful. The Yotta Master Thunderbolt 3 Hub. The main purpose of a dock like this one is both to make your Thunderbolt or USB 4 enabled laptop more convenient to use, as it not only brings back ports that cannot fit into the ever slimming laptops these days, but all peripherals and the power supply can be connected to the dock and then plugged into your laptop with only one cable. The same is true here. With a metal construction, bringing benefits when it comes to heat dissipation, along with some simple branding on the top, we have a pretty professional looking unit here, designed to stay put on your desk, which it does quite well thanks to the feet on the underside. As mentioned, when it comes to ports, there's not a huge array to see here. Around the back, we find a 1 gigabit LAN port, alongside two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one being the main connection to your computer, and the second a pass-through for daisy chaining up to six other Thunderbolt or USB 4 devices, alongside a display port capable of driving a single 8K monitor, although thankfully those who want to drive two 4K monitors can still do so by using the display port as well as the second Thunderbolt port. As with all other Thunderbolt 3 docks, power is supplied by way of an external 120 watt power adapter, so you'll need to find space behind your desk to store this thing, but it does provide ample power to any peripherals connected to any of its ports, as well as 60 watts of power delivery to your connected computer through one of the two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now that may fall short for many of the more powerful newly released portable computers, but should be enough to keep it topped up under most standard usage. Moving around to the front, we find a single 3.5mm audio in and out port, alongside a USB-C 10 gigabits per second port, as well as three USB type A ports, one being 10 gigabits per second, while the remaining two are 5 gigabits per second, and more suited to legacy devices or peripherals such as keyboards and mice for instance. All in all, that may not seem like a huge number of ports, especially when compared to the competition, but it's likely enough for most users, myself included. Now I do wish it had 10 gigabit ethernet, although 10 gigabit adapters do emit a fair amount of heat during heavy transfers, as well as more USB type C ports, considering that seems to be the way forward. But saying that, this hub also doubles up as an external storage device, thanks to this panel incorporated into the bottom, which can be unscrewed to reveal a dual M2 SSD enclosure, one slot being for NVMe SSDs and the other for standard SATA SSDs supporting 4TB capacity each, so 8TB in total. And with an NVMe SSD installed into the appropriate slot, Sabrent being a particular favourite of mine considering the speed and reliability you get for the price point, I've used and still continue to use a range of Sabrent drives in my workflow without any issue, making them a brand I've grown to trust. Anyway, you will notice an active cooling fan beside the SSD, so this is not a completely silent hub, there will be some noise, although saying that, thanks to the small size, the fan noise was very minimal throughout testing. Certainly nothing that bothered me too much, but nevertheless it's a point to note should you need to work in a completely silent environment. So, with an SSD installed, speeds are easily enough for it to be used as a video editing drive for instance, although I can also see this being more useful as a temporary storage area, or for the storage of images, videos, games or other such files, making it a great all-in-one solution. And there's the beauty of this device, it may not have a huge array of port options like some other docks, but we have an all-in-one solution here thanks to that built-in SSD capability. Whether you choose to use it as basic storage, for time machine backups, or even as your main editing drive, if you're after sheer number of ports there are better options out there to be fair, but if you're always on the move and want a dock to take along with you, complete with the extra storage it incorporates, then the Yotta Master Thunderbolt 3 Hub would be a great choice.